How much debt can this project support? Everybody cares about this question. Sponsors want as much debt as possible to boost their returns, and lenders want to make sure that the project only borrows as much as it can reasonably pay back. Until now, we've been setting the project's debt using a direct input assumption. That is definitely not how it happens in real life. Instead, the financial model uses the best forecasts available to calculate how much cash the project has to pay its lenders. But nobody can predict the future. So what lenders do is make sure that any payments due are always smaller than the cash available. By doing this, they provide themselves a margin of safety. This increases the chances that debt and interest will still be paid, even when things do not go as well as planned. The way to do this is to systematically scale down the project's cash flows available for debt service or CFADs for short. This is done by dividing CFADs by a debt service cover ratio, also just called a DSCR. The DSCR is just the ratio of CFADs over debt service in any given period. Notice that sizing debt payments this way has another advantage. It allows payments to be structured in such a way so that when the project has more cash available, it makes bigger payments, and when it has less, the payments are smaller. Because of this, this kind of calculation is also known as debt sculpting or tailoring. To calculate how much debt is supported by this debt service schedule, we find the present value of these payments using the all-in interest rate to create our discount factors. If a swap agreement has been taken out on the interest, we use the swap adjusted rate. There is one more step to consider. It may be the case that the project is forecast to have very strong cash flows. In these circumstances, we may be able to raise a very large amount of debt one which takes the project's leverage to very high levels. To avoid this, lenders will usually set a separate limit on the maximum leverage they agree to fund. If the debt sized with a minimum coverage requirements breaches the maximum leverage, all that we need to do is to scale down the sculpted debt payments by the relative difference between the current debt and the maximum allowed by lenders. Note that after doing this, the DSCRs on the debt repayment profile are higher than before. When debt sizing, it is important to remember that the lender's requirements are for a minimum level of coverage, not a specific one. Let's look at how to create these calculations in our model. This video is taken from the Project Finance Modeling course by DealMaker. Get the full course today for a discounted price with this exclusive discount code. Just click the link below.